my creatures, spooky, scary, rumptious, delicious Libra. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we're doing you versus them, you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Boo boo, hope you're doing great. I hope you're feeling sparkly. I hope you moisturize today. If not, go moisturize, boo boo. All right, let's see what's going on. Libra, uh, with the you versus them readings, we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your person. And this is a year April 2023 energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but also other placements might be relevant if you have a lot of placements in that sign. Uh, the Six of Cups, somebody's missing you. <laughs> oh, somebody's missing you. Somebody's still missing you. Oh my gosh, the reads are very, uh, you know what, today the energy is very forgiving and very loving. Someone's missing you. They feel like you walked away from them. You know, whether they made you walk away from them, whether they, they, whether they forced you to walk away from them, you know, whatever this was, like they feel like they lost you. Uh, the Eight of Cups. They also feel, somebody here has a feeling of not enoughness, like they couldn't give you what you deserve, and they're probably right because you deserve the best people, but they feel like uh, they couldn't give you what you deserve, but they miss you nonetheless, and they wish they could tell you that. Somebody would just love to like, they have these fantasies, maybe something went down in the past between the two of you where you were like, you know, I want to get flowers, why don't you buy me flowers, or uh, you were like, something about flowers maybe, or gifts, you know, um, and this person was like, well, I don't buy babies flowers, I don't buy my friends flowers, you know, and you're like, okay, whatever, I'll buy my own flowers, you know, like, <laughs> Miley Cyrus style, it's something about flowers or gifts where this person wasn't willing to do that or wasn't being very romantic or vice versa. And now this person is ready to do the right thing. Uh, and now they, they fantasize about it because they feel like they lost you over something. Uh, you know, I don't think it was that specifically that broke broke the connection, but, but but I think that was like a factor, part of the conversation. And this person wishes now that they could give you those flowers and they have these fantasies, like figures of giving you flowers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, well, let's see what the douche flute did in the past to make the situation. So also Libra, uh, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you. I see you, baby. Give my mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. Give me another I love you so much, Libra, because I'm Scorpio, you're Libra. We're neighbors in the Zodiac. Libra is also um, in my house of karma, in my chart, and I'm a Libra in Vedic astrology, so I am my own, I am the problem, baby. I am my own karma. Um, all right, babies. Do, oh my God, <laughs> that was a little aggressive. Mom and God, a little too aggressive. All the cards uh, flew down. Uh, yeah, Libra, listen. Oh, by the way, I'm doing, speaking of crazy, uh, I'm doing a live tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific time or 10 p.m. It's going to be late night for Eastern, 10 p.m. So join me. We're going to be taking PayPal questions, talking about love magic and manifesting love and stuff like that. And also, um, I will be doing another one on Saturday and Sunday. So if you miss this one, I'll be doing other ones this weekend because it's the full moon weekend. Awesome. And it's the full moon in Libra, baby. So I got you, boo boo. All right, so what did the douche flute actually do? Somebody changed their mind. They turned around on something. Huh. You know what it was? I see, look, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between went on Tinder on a Tuesday, somebody came in very strong. You got the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So there's like, a, it was like a worshiper energy, like a simp, you know? Somebody came in simping on you, like real hard, because they wanted to get you. And once they got you, they felt like they could relax a little bit, and then they pulled back the simp energy, and then maybe that's how the whole flowers thing came up, or like gifts, you know? Maybe they used to shower you with compliments and gifts, and very quickly, even if it was like, you know, date five, four, 10, whatever, like they, like they just relaxed too much uh, or they just like switched up the energy a little bit and made you really reconsider the situation, the three of wands. It's like they were trying to play some kind of a game and being a little bit childish about the situation. They were trying to like, you know, get something out of you, some kind of a confirmation. Uh, and then you have the uh, 10 of cups here, you know, you gave them, you gave as good as you got and you gave them your all in the beginning because you assumed they had good intentions as you have good intentions. And this person just tried to like play, play a game with you a little bit. There's something about messages, but you know, like, Bad communication, messages left on red, you know, like not uh, following up, not making sure you're okay. I think somebody made you wait for them as well, you know, made you wait, uh, you know, you left you waiting at a restaurant or something or left you waiting somewhere or left you waiting for a message. 
And that really turns the dynamic around and you're like, well, you know, I liked you because you were so into me, but now that you're not simping, like, bye. Uh, it's something like that. Um, and, you know, I think this person, why was this person doing that, switching up the dynamic? Because they felt, you know, I think a part of them felt insecure. They were like, you know, do you love me for me or do you love me for my simping? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the reads today, the titles today, Bill, awesome. Uh, and if it was a more established connection, I think there was conflict here over children. Uh, or who, almost like who the responsible person, if it's not about ch the conflict over ch children, having children, or about existing children, it was about who was the parent, you know, who's the daddy in the relationship, you know, like who's the mommy, who's the daddy, who's the, anyone in between, there was conflict over that, you know, maybe both people wanted to be daddy, or this person wanted, you know, they weren't taking care of you enough, you felt like you had to take care of everything, and you know, you felt like you were upholding the whole dynamic, and that didn't suit you, so you called them out, and this person and instead of fixing it, they turned around and left or something like that, you know? And now they miss you so terribly. Now they want to buy you flowers. Ah, I should have bought you flowers with them. Okay. The Knight of Cups, uh, what this person's intentions are, uh, they want to reconcile, they, they want to see you, they want to tell you they love you because they miss you. And the King of Cups, they're going to put their money where their mouth is, they are going to show up with flowers. That's what they're going to do, uh, or a gift, or give you the thing that you deserve. And look, divine counterparts, this person knows your divine counterparts. It was like, you know, a glitch in the system. There's, you know, often with connections and relationships, you know, people's feelings get hurt, they retaliate, becomes a tit for tat. I feel like this is the energy of the reading today, but they're going to come through and try and do the right thing, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, because they know that you are divine counterparts. And the love here is real, Libra. It's up to you, you know, how you want to take it, when you, what you want to get out of it. When this person comes back around, this is someone who's coming through in Taurus season, so very soon. Um, we're coming into Taurus season. Um, it, you know what? It could be any day now, in fact, uh, when this person's coming through. It could be any day now because we're coming into Taurus season. So, you know, however that resonates for you. Could be Taurus season. Could be... I think it's going to be before the summer, but you, look, uh, psychic timing is a slippery fish, so take everything I say with a, a grain of salt. Uh, expect something now, or expect something in tourist season, or expect something uh, when we come into the early summer. But they're definitely coming through Libra. All right, um, uh, you know what, but also this person, let me tell you another thing about this person. There's something about this person that's like just very thoughtful. They're really thinking about what they did. I feel like I'm channeling something from them now. It's like they're really thinking about what they did and they have regrets about that, or regrets about what they did and how they behaved. And they wish, they ha they wish they'd never done it like that. They wish they'd done, done it very different. They wish they'd, you know, they wish they'd done it so different. But here we are. Libra, uh, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video, because that really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my boobies. Stay spiky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized. I'll see you in the live um, tonight if you're free, and if not, maybe Saturday. Uh, I love you, and maybe angels protect you.